Hi, I'm making this video for those of you out there who have multiple failed IVF cycles, can't figure out why, or you are thinking about doing the ERA test and or the endometrium receptivity test. Little background, um, I was diagnosed with dominus ovarian reserve at the age of 27. I have, I had an AMH of 0.208 and an FSH of 21, so that's pretty bad. Uh, for those of you that know what that means, you'll understand how bad that is. I did a round of IVF with my own eggs. I got two. Didn't work. Um, so we moved on to, um, my sister was kind enough to donate her eggs to me, and she's six years younger than me. Got ten eggs. Uh, three beautiful blasts. Uh, the first time I put two in, they gave me a 65% chance of it working. I don't really have anything wrong with my uterus except that it's kind of tilted, but that's pretty normal, I was told. And that um, I have a little bit of endo on my left side. My ovaries kind of connected a little bit to my uterus, but it's on the outside. So they said it shouldn't interfere with anything. <laughs> I hope that it won't. Still scares me. Um, anyway, so after the rounds failed with my sister's eggs, me and my husband determined that we didn't want to do this forever, so we went with a proven donor. We got seven beautiful blasts, and thank you out there to all those who donate your eggs. It means the world. I don't know what kind of flack you get for it, but I am so grateful for the person that donated their eggs to me. I am internally grateful. Anyway, sorry. I was going to cry. Um, so we had seven beautiful blasts. We put two in and we're told we had an 85% chance success rate. It didn't work. So my doctor recommended um, doing an error test. See if my endometrium was receptive or not. This test I heard of before we did the round with the donor, it, it's just hard to make yourself do the test because they have to cut out a piece of your uterus. It was like, that much? And it hurts. <laughs> it hurts really bad. And I won't lie, it hurts. And um, it cost me $900 the first time I did it. But I did it. And take the Valium. They offer you Valium, you take the Valium. You deserve the Valium. And for men out there who are watching, it is equivalent of cutting off, like, that much of, you know, your guy down there. Like with a potato peeler, like, it hurts. Like, it hurts bad enough on your, okay, on your skin, but... Alright, anyway, um, my test came back as pre-receptive, and then I needed 12 more hours of progesterone. When I got the results, I was like, really? 12 more hours and that's it? That's going to fix this? So mind you, I've failed a lot of good rounds right now. My nose is way runny. Um, so uh, they recommend doing the test again, so I did it again after adding the 12 more hours. And it came back as finally receptive. According to the studies, I'm going to try to find links on these studies that I've watched to try to help educate anyone that needs this information. But according to the studies, if you're not receptive when your embryos go in, the chance of pregnancy working is like zero. Like, if you get pregnant at all, maybe it'll be a chemical pregnancy. So, and it does kind of make sense to me because on the round that we did with the donor, when I had really high quality blasts, I know they were trying to implant. I can't explain it. But I'm rarely sensitive on my left side, so I feel a lot of what most women don't feel. Like, I always knew when I ovulated. Always. I could tell you what side and when. The exact day. The exact moment. So I'm pretty, pretty sensitive. So, um, when we had those embryos in, I could feel the pulling, the pinching, all of the signs that you feel. And it was like on the fifth day, it was like they were really trying. I mean, I felt swollen down there, like someone was trying to beat me. And 
and it's like on the fifth day they just gave up. Like it was just nothing. It was just the end. Well, anyway, um, added the twelve more hours, and we just did an IVF round again, and we're pregnant, which I'm still, I still don't believe it. I'm on six weeks, so I'm not out of the woods by any means. We're not gonna tell our family, so I have to make sure I upload this video without anyone being able to see. <laughs> that would, I mean, my family's not gonna go looking for it, so. But I wanted to make this video to help whoever's thinking of doing that test, because I know it's kind of one of those things, you know, you have to do all the stems, you have to do that horrible fun test, and you have to pay the money. It's like 900 the first time I did it and 750 the second time. But I really do feel that it made a big difference and I was only given 12 more hours and that's all I needed and it I guess made a difference. Like I'm not joking, I could feel that round that I failed that those embryos were trying to implant and I know they both would have probably done it. And the difference I feel in this round is like I do have that endo on the left side. So I'm really sensitive, and this whole time, like the pain and the tugging that I would get, I still, I, I felt it even after five days after this one. And I, I can't explain it, I can't explain how I knew when that round failed. Like I still was precarious on this round, but I'm, it says I'm pregnant and getting a lot of the signs. My nose is really runny, which sucks. I think that's just because it's December and it's cold. So, I hope this helps somebody out there. I will try to find the links to the information I got. Um, I would recommend the test. I don't know if it's for everyone, but according to the study, 1 in 24 women will not be receptive on 5 days of progesterone or 7 days past ovulation. If you've reached a point like this, I would suggest doing it. Or if you're looking for a test to rule out anything else, like, you know, you only have so much money and you want to give yourself the best shot, hey, it's one in 20, it's one and four women that will be unreceptive. And according to the study, if you're not receptive, that's not going to work. I would just do it. You already paid that much money, but um, it's really up to you. I hope this helps somebody out there. Thank you for watching.